Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. It's your boy Phil. So today, I'll be starting a new series named Day of Dining, where I share to you what I prepare, what I cook, and what I eat during my days off. Today, we will be eating some Filipino breakfast items. So, what are we waiting for? Let's start the video. Hope you're having a great day, everyone. So today, it's my day off, and I'm gonna be sharing to you what I'm gonna prepare for breakfast. And it's gonna consist of simple breakfast items, such as hatsilog and topsilog. So, let's get this going. The names of the breakfast items that I'm gonna prepare are a conjugation of three words. The first syllable is whatever meat or vine you have for breakfast. In this case, hot from hot dogs, which are fried hot dogs. Tap from tapa, from the Spanish term which means cured beef, mutton or venison, but in this case, we have marinated and fried beef. The second syllable, sinangag, meaning fried rice. And the third syllable, itlog, meaning fried egg. And this completes the three syllables. So essentially it means the first syllable, whatever meat that you have. And the second is the fried rice. And the third one is the fried egg. So after preparing my coffee and frying the eggs, Let's get to the garnishes. The usual partners with these breakfast items are sliced tomatoes and diced onions. And you can also have your own uh, condiments such as vinegar and uh, fish paste. And in this case, I'm using fish paste, vinegar, and lemon. Fish paste are ground fish mixed with salt and spices, fermented for several days until it reaches a thick sauce consistency. It produces a strong fishy and salty aroma. So it really takes time for you to get used to it. But if you're Filipino like me and you often use this for breakfast, you know what I'm talking about and is a common condiment for these breakfasts. So since it's very salty, we often add vinegar, some calamansi juice or lemon juice to balance out the salty flavor. First thing that we're gonna have is hot silog. Hot dogs in the Philippines are primarily red. Uh, the reason for this, I don't really know, so don't ask me why. But it has been like this since I was a kid. Cooking it is fairly easy. It takes about 5 to 10 minutes to fry on with little oil in the frying pan. Or it depends on how much you want the skin to be toasted. Next is Tapsilog. Tapa comes from the Spanish term meaning cured beef. But for this case, we are using cured and seasoned beef. This takes a longer time to cook, probably 10 to 15 minutes. But I made the mistake of cooking it without defrosting it. So lesson learned, when you cook tapa, just defrost it first and then fry it at low heat with little oil. So after most of the water has evaporated, I refried them again in order to uh, provide a coating of oil and to keep them moist and to produce a little bit of charred surface for the beef. After frying those meats, I took some of the residual oils to make some fried rice. It's best to use leftover rice that has cooled down for this fried rice. And after adding some adobo seasoning, I also added some salt, pepper, a little bit of soy sauce, and some vinegar for the zest. I added some more oil left behind from the frying pan. So just stir fry it in your wok. And make sure to break off some of the clumps of rice that are left behind. And continue stir frying until you get your desired taste, seasoning, or toast of the rice.
This is the type of char that I like. Slightly burnt, making the skin crispy when you bite on it. And I added some ketchup and vinegar as condiments to the salty hot dogs. And this is a tender meaty hot dog. I added some fish paste to go along with the tomatoes and onions to complement the garnish. And fish paste, if you combine it with vinegar, provides the contrast of the sour and salty flavors. So it's like a complete meal because you have protein, carbohydrates, and the vegetables. Next is tapsilog. So tapas comes from the Spanish term meaning small cured pieces of beef, cured, tenderized, and fried. And some of that fish paste to give some contrast of flavor. The curing process depends on the recipe that you have, but generally it involves salt, some preservatives, some acidic ingredients, and the like. That all contribute to marinate Cure, tenderize the meat. So beef tapa are like a tender moist and tastier version of beef jerky. So I added some vinegar as well. And a little bit of fish paste to complement the vinegar as well. And that completes my breakfast with a sip of coffee. Thank you for watching episode 1 of Day Off Dining. Thank you for watching this video and I really do hope that you enjoy it and thank you for your continued support and as always, like, comment, and subscribe. See you later in the next video guys. Take care!